This video covers a class 3 resin composite preparation on tooth number 8 mesial. First, assemble the necessary armamentarium for the preparation, as shown in this photograph. The composite setup includes selection of the appropriate resin composite shade using the shade matching guide or, in a clinical setting, your clinical judgment. Envision the cavity preparation outline and extent. Optionally, you may use the red-blue pencil to draw the outline of the cavity preparation on the tooth. Obtain isolation of the tooth using a system such as a rubber dam, isovac, or cotton rolls. Place a wedge in between adjacent teeth to separate the contact areas. To protect the adjacent tooth from iatrogenic damage, place a matrix band interproximally. Now, Orient the burr perpendicular to the lingual surface of the tooth, close to but without touching the adjacent tooth. Penetrate the tooth to an initial facio-lingual depth of 1 to 1.5 millimeters. Extend the preparation incisogingivally and mesial distally. The facial wall should be at least 90 degrees relative to the axial wall. Optionally, you may leave a small enamel shell interproximally to protect the adjacent tooth from iatrogenic damage during the preparation. Then, you can break the enamel shell with a hand instrument such as an enamel hatchet or enamel hoe. At this point, you may use the probe to check for appropriate dimensions. The incisogingival gingival length should be between 2 to 2.5 millimeters, but no greater than 3 millimeters. The gingival floor should have a width of 1 to 1.25 millimeters, and the incisal floor width should be approximately 1.25 to 1.5 millimeters. In a clinical setting, you will now check for and remove remaining caries. To assess remaining caries, you should use your explorer or spoon excavator. Then, you may remove the remaining carious tooth structure using the largest round burr that fits into the preparation with rotary instruments, such as a slow speed, or with a spoon excavator. Round the internal line angles using rotary instruments high speed with water or slow speed. Smooth the preparation with rotary instruments high speed with water or slow speed or hand instruments to remove major unsupported enamel as well as steps and ledges. Create a 0.25 mm to 0.5 mm bevel circumferentially around the preparation by orienting the burr with rotary instruments high speed with water or slow speed at a 45 degree angle to the cable surface margin. Clean and dry the preparation using the air water syringe. Examine the preparation and evaluate the preparation for proper dimensions. Use the explorer to check for smoothness and use the probe to check for appropriate dimensions. Refer to the complete checklist to ensure that your preparation meets the necessary requirements. Thank you for watching.